This is one messy project. There's piles of dirt everywhere, there's bare soil, there's mud, there's puddles of dirty water. And uh, there's a lot of it. There's about th six acres worth. This lower building pad and the upper building pad of above, total of six acres. Uh, this is going to be a concrete tilt-up building and associated infrastructure. Well, it's it's dirty and ugly, but the fact is that as long as the track out is managed, kept on site, this site is actually a self-contained project. Um, all of the water, by design, all of the water is either pumped or gravity discharged. Um, down through, well, for example, on this side, it's a little swale that the contractor built with some berms to uh, get the water over to a couple of sumps. Over here, these are existing sumps. There used to be an existing drainage, asphalt drainage ditch along this side of the project, and this was all asphalt from previous parking uses. But anyway, they get all the water down to these sumps and uh, you can't see it probably. There's a 90 degree downturn elbow here uh, used as an oil water separator. But the contractor broke in to the existing sump and put a six inch pipe in. Oh, there it is. Comes out here and uh, drains down alongside the road and off in the distance you can see some Baker tanks. That's the active treatment system. So all the water from this total six acre site ends up going through that active treatment system. It's a Kytosan enhanced sand filtration system. So this ends up looking not so great, but in reality, as far as water quality goes, uh, it's a self-contained and uh, very controlled site.